welcome to another scrapbook process video. My name's Heather. I know it's been a while since I've shared process video of my channel, but um, I'm trying to get right back into it. So recently I was became part of the Bella Boulevard design team. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing more often for Bella Boulevard is creating some process videos. So this layout is featuring their latest cap and gown collection which is the perfect collection for any kind of graduation or even anything beyond graduation actually because it's full of black and white and so you can add any colors in that complement your photos or you could even add in colors and use the patterns that are not graduation specific. So here on my layout today I'm focusing on the clear cuts paper which is a sheet of acetate that comes in either the collection pack or you can buy it separately. And the one that's in cap and gown has a beautiful silvery foil star pattern on it. And so what I did with it was I uh, used a die cut, a heart die cut that was from Ellie's studio. And I cut multiple size hearts out of the acetate and then also out of the different pattern papers that come with the collection. And then once I had cut them out, I had three sizes, I layered them all together. I stitched a line through them and then created myself some really pretty heart accents. So I started with just a sort of large piece of pattern paper with that grid design behind everything and then decided I wanted something else. And so I went ahead and I added that white polka dot. But if you just look at these two papers together, you can kind of see what I mean in the fact that the collection is not graduation specific. Well, it is graduation specific, but it could be used for a lot more than graduation if you just take out the papers that don't have all of the icons for graduation. So I'm using two photos of my niece when she graduated or moved up from kindergarten, which was at um, the end of the school year in 2019. And I have a photo here of her in her cap and gown. And I was very lucky that it was all in white, <laughs> matched the collection perfectly. I really didn't need any other additional colors. And then that second photo is her with my mom, so her grandma. And I'm using some chipboard pieces here. So that scallop banner part is a chipboard piece from the Chow Chip. And then I love the, the giant graduate title. That's such a pretty scripty font. So I'm using that title to show the graduate. And I apologize if my lighting's a little bit off. I'm, I'm sort of getting back into process videos and making sure my lighting is correct. I was doing this at night. And so you might even see the light change a little bit as the video goes on. See, there we go. <laughs> I turned the overhead light off because it seemed like I was getting a glare on that photo on the left. So I'm not sure if this is better or worse. <laughs> I always add some extra adhesive, liquid adhesive to my chipboard just to make sure it stays in place. Sometimes I'll even go through it with my sewing machine. Um, and once you go through the sewing machine, you know for certain it's not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, so I'm bringing my hearts back in. I sort of had an idea in the beginning of where I wanted them to go, but then of course took everything off. And so now I'm kind of fitting them back together. But I know I picked out the patterns that I want. I am overlapping them. You just saw me use some foam tape. I like that with the dimension, with just the center of the heart adhered down and then stitched through, I like that I can sort of tuck the layers underneath each other. And I'm also taking advantage of the clear cuts and the fact that it is clear and tucking the parts of the heart sort of underneath one another. Also trying to keep the different like if there's a big heart that's in black or a big heart that's in white, trying to sort of space those out. That one I just added adhesive to actually was a, has a clear cut background. So there we go, and then one more in there. And you can see in my bowls off to the, to the right there that I have a lot of hearts left over. So I will definitely use them on another layout. <laughs> and they were super easy to make. And it's the kind of embellishment that you can make with all kinds of shapes. You could do layered stars, you could do layered hexagons, um, layered circles. I pulled off some other pieces from the Chow chipboard as well, some stars, and then some circles with stars, so I'm tucking those all around. 
And when I tuck my chipboard around, I try to think of it as a visual triangle. So right now I don't necessarily have that because I haven't completed the, the right side of my layout with the hearts, but here we go, I'm doing that now. It takes me a little while to arrange them on the right side and get just the right, just the right amount. But I end up switching out some hearts actually and, and changing it up. I think that one, I think that one I actually change. Yeah, there we go. And I liked that I can tuck it all the way under and it fit a lot nicer. There we go. So this collection has some really beautiful gold foil accents and you can really see them on these banner strips here. The shine to it is just gorgeous. In fact, sometimes when I photograph them, it's hard not to get the glare of the lights on them. But it's so pretty in real life. So I, I struggle a little bit with with putting this banner down. Doesn't exactly end up like you see it right here, but I do like in the end how it how it laid out. All right, there we go. Got it in play. Oh, nope. Nope. Not yet. Still playing around with it. <laughs> And if you want to see other cap and gown layouts, the Bella Boulevard creative team has made some beautiful layouts, both graduation themed and non-graduation themed. Um, if just by adding in some of the um, other pieces, the Bella Besties paper and all different colors and alphabet stickers and things, you can really change up the look of this collection. So definitely check out the blog, check out Bella's Instagram. There's some great inspiration on there. So I dumped out the um, Emphemira, I think it's called Words and Phrases Pack. And I'm just going through it. And I know lots of people have talked about this sort of method of going through um, packs of die cuts, especially when there's so many, of pulling out what you know is not going to work and then pulling out what you know is going to work. So eliminating things. And that's sort of what I'm doing here. I added a tab, that tab above the picture of my mother and my niece does not end up staying. But I did add the little stars. And then I'm looking for something to go along the bottom. I end up going with what I had originally had. I think I had that cap gown. It's going down first, which I think is perfect. I love distressing everything with my edge distressor. Um, including all of my die cut pieces. I just really love the texture that it gives. And then of course, some foam tape also really gives it great dimension. And I use a variety of foam tape. Um, I really like scrapbook.com's thin, sort of um, long lines of foam tape. And then I also like, I think, I believe it's Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. It's a, a little bit of a th a thicker width but it's a really nice dimension foam tape and I can never ever resist a tag and so I, I did cut this one down and I'm gonna add my twine to it and then stick it in behind the photo I just love the texture of twine it's actually crochet thread not actually even twine and I bought a giant ball of it years ago and it has lasted me forever it's there's still a ton on it because you really only need a small piece. So I'm fiddling around with the bow there and then I get that in place. I always sometimes seem to get like a loop in my bow. You could sort of see it a couple moments ago on the right one. I don't know why that happens sometimes. Anybody else have that problem with their bows? <laughs> I saw someone share that they have a bow maker it's just a simple piece of cardboard and you wrap your your twine or whatever around it. I have to check that out. Adding in a few phrases, that word happy. I add another phrase above the photo that's on the right, that wow one, it matched that happy one really nicely. And then while it was in there, I saw the numbers and it gave me the idea to add the year. 
which is coming up at some point. <laughs> I think I got a little ahead of myself. And then adding in, there we go, a couple extra pieces. I love word phrases, word strips to tuck them all around. And that tucked really nicely behind the clear cuts. That was the back piece of that top heart on the right. And you can still read what the phrase says. Oh, I'm pulling out some puffy stickers before I add the, the year on the top. I really like the um, little pieces of confetti that are on the puffy stickers. There's just a few on this one, but actually the My Candy Girl collection had a ton of those confetti-like pieces, and they're so fun to just sprinkle all around. So I pull out the few that are in this puffy sticker sheet, and I add them on. I wasn't exactly happy with the, the fact that those two pieces there were kind of the same color. And I do notice in a couple minutes after taking another look at the puffy sheet that there is another little confetti piece I replace it with. There we go. Much happier. <laughs> All right, here's where I return to the top left. And you can see that beautiful sheen of the silver foiling there. I'm trying to make that tab work, but it's just a little too much silver foiling up there. That's a chipboard piece, but it doesn't make the cut. And I always go back to the Emph Mirror pack. A lot of times it's about auditioning different things out, trying different things, seeing what works, looking at all the things that you have. There's so many pieces in the Bella Boulevard collections. Stickers, chipboard, puffy stickers, die cuts. And so this is where I am. I saw the class of and I absolutely love that font. It matches the graduate font and then in the cap gown it's going down. We have that same font so it all matches really nicely. And I find the 19 for 2019. And that fits perfectly up there and sort of finishes that cluster up top. And like I said, I, di I distress everything. <laughs> Every little piece. I just love that texture it gives. Okay, and I think I pop up the class of, get that right next to it, yep, those are those long lines of adhesive from scrapbook.com. And then I find these cute little hearts, which I think is perfect, it almost looks like the little, um, apostrophe that would go before the 19. And then the last thing that I decide to do here is add some ink splatters. I consider using the, the, um, those little puffies, but it didn't work. So I'm using uh, black soot distress ink. And I just splatter that all around. And so my layout's just about done. I pulled up to the camera so you can see and I've also included some close-up shots at the end as well as a look at the completed layout. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. I am putting it on my to-do list to make more process videos. I know a lot of people have been requesting that so it's definitely on my summertime to-do list. Definitely check out the Bella Boulevard blog. Check out their Instagram. And I hope you pick up this gorgeous cap and gown collection. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.